So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another, I think it's 26th Ionic tutorial, I'm not sure. And in this tutorial, I would be finally showing you how you can build a signed APK, which is actually the kind of APK you would be able to put on Play Store and would share with other people as well. The process from Ionic 1 is pretty much similar and not really pretty much but exactly kind of because you just need to create a key store and sign the apk with your custom key store and use rsa as the encryption algorithm and all that beautiful stuff now the thing with this is that once you sign your apk do not lose that particular key store and that particular key because if you lose that then you would not be able to update your apk on the play store because even if you have the source code with you but not the key on through which you signed your apk then google would not accept that thing so to generate a signed apk what we need to do is write key store gen key we and you would find this full complete line um, in the description so if you want to check that out you can check that out and I would just paste this on the code dump form as well so that you can copy and paste this key store and then your key store name let's just name it code dump demo dot uh, key store allies and let's just keep it same key algorithm is RSA key size is 2048 bits and the validity is just make it anything you like all right uh, let's just keep it to thousand which is what is referenced in the documentation and tada key store is not found and the reason for that is because I'm stupid it is not key store it is key tool and uh, let's just enter some key tool key store password there we go um mehul mohan go down what the hell was the first question then yep yeah let's just keep the password same and you can see that our key store is generated so what you want to do next is actually generate an apk which is the production apk but unsigned because right now you can see that the apk which we are generating is in debug mode is not compressed and the code is all um, not deobfuscated and all that stuff so it slows down a little bit so you can speed things up if you create an um, production APK, right? So we're gonna do Ionic Cordova build, and this would be a release Android APK, right? Uh, let us just build the production APK. Now, mind you that this one would be a production APK but this one would be unsigned so we need to sign it and what we did in the first step is we generated the key through which we are gonna sign this thing and by the way if you face any kind of problem in key tool or in jar signer which we're gonna make use of in a moment to sign the APK that means um, that your JDK is not perfectly configured and probably if it wasn't configured properly then you might not be able to even run um, your application on phone for testing purposes so you need to install JDK so with that being said and our APK is generated you can see this is Android release unsigned APK so let's just go to Android sorry platforms whoa social login platforms android build outputs apk and here we are we can see that we have android debug from some past build and this is the release one okay so the next thing is we're gonna make use of jar signer 
and you do not need to really remember all this because I am myself saying this from the documentation and I will just leave that thing for you to copy paste directly in the description so jar signer algorithm SHA1 with RSA digest algorithm is RSA and this is actually SHA1 and then we specify our key store which was code dam dot key store I believe let me see uh, where it is code dam demo dot key store code dam demo dot key store and the APK which we have is Android release unsigned and there we go so the passphrase for key store was um, okay so our key store is not here obviously it is a couple of directories back so we would have one directory two directory three directory four directory five directory um, this gets us here 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 or rather why not we just cut the crap and do desktop social login and like this and hit enter okay and obviously this should be our LIS name which we set and that was pretty much the same thing so one more try and I believe we have a typo here well one last try and holy smokes we are here so our APK is signed now we can pretty much name this um, signed APK ready to bang bang or anything you like and you are ready to upload this on Play Store or maybe even distribute it so yeah that is pretty much it for this tutorial and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and at the last I would just like to give a shout out to the first patreon I have and that is job Bernal. so thank you job Bernal, for your support and uh, I'll see you then in some other tutorial